Hey there everyone, I'm Yuno Surin from Gizmo Brief. Today I have the Toshiba Satellite S55A5257. We're going to do some speed tests, we're going to do a boot up test, and we're going to do some benchmarks. Let's get started. So we're going to be doing a couple of tests here. We're going to be doing Geekbench, Novabench, Cinebench, and also a simple video export test with Windows Live Movie Maker. And after that, we'll do a boot up test. Alright, so here we have Geekbench 2. Sorry if you can't see the screen that well because recording the screen and I don't want to do a screen recording because that will affect the performance and the score of the Geekbench benchmark. So I tried to make it as best as I can, but the screen isn't that very good. So it is at the 22nd mark right now and it is approaching halfway. The current workload is dot product. Let's speed this up. We have the page loaded up right here. The Toshiba Satellite S55A5257. Grand total for Geekbench score, 8,946. Very close to 9,000, so very good score. Next test we are doing is Nova Bench, and it loaded up, and let's start the benchmark test and it says they recommend closing all programs and it is starting the test now this computer has an intel core i7 processor clocked at 2.4 gigahertz along with eight gigabytes of ram so lots of ram to do video editing things like that and also the graphics is an intel hd graphics 4600 right now it is testing the ram transfer speed and now it's doing a 3d graphics test for the GPU and there's about 20 seconds remaining on it now it's checking the write speed of the hard drive this is not a standard a solid state drive so it won't be as fast as one solid state drive so Nova bench score 1041 for its total at the bottom of that you can see all the test results you have a score of 192 for the system RAM test, then the CPU test, 713, and then a graphics test at 80, and then finally a hardware test, at the score is 56. So out of all that, all of those, and you get a score of 1041. So that is the Nova Bench test. And right now we have Cinebench. So let's do the OpenGL test and it is preparing so that was the OpenGL test and now we're going to be doing a CPU test and the OpenGL test was a 21.94 frames per second score so pretty good that was the frames per second so that's how fast that the video ran and now it's doing a render test for the CPU And the total for that Cinebench test is a total of 21.94 frames per second for the OpenGL test. And for the CPU, it got 5.48 points. So that is Cinebench. One thing to note is that the computer has four cores, but the computer sees the CPU as having eight threads, meaning that it improves performance. And now we just have a one, one minute video and one second. And we're just going to export this in Windows Movie Maker. So we're going to save this movie. And then common settings for computer for high definition display. Let's do that. High definition display. That's H.264. We're going to be sending it to my pictures and just name this test. And now we're going to start this test. So as soon as I press save, I'm going to press start on here and let's see how long it takes. So three, two, one. This is a 1080p video recorded on the Nikon D5100 DSLR in 1080p HD and I believe 30 frames per second, 29.97, somewhere around there. It's finishing up and it stopped. That was 37 seconds and 37.24 seconds. And the video is ready. 
And finally, for our last test, we're going to do a simple boot up. So, I'm going to press the power button and the start button at the same time to see how long it takes. So, three, two, one. 16 seconds, and that is it. 16 seconds, and we are ready to log in. I'm going to put in my password, and there we go. So we're ready, we're logged in, welcoming us, and we are here at the Windows 8 start screen. All right, so those were the benchmarks for the Toshiba Satellite S55A5257. And thank you to commenter X Boston Boy IZ Fire X who commented on our unboxing video and asked how long did it take to boot up. So we just showed you that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, if you want to see anything at all on the new Toshiba laptop, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. And as you can see, I just made a video for one of our commenters. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, including more videos and a review on the Toshiba Satellite S55A5257, please feel free to subscribe. That is all for now. I'm Yunostrun from Gizmo Brief, and thank you for watching.